Hey, this is Tim, timalwa.com, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to generate free leads on Facebook using an organic marketing strategy. Meaning, this requires no money, no ad spend, and it takes very little time. In fact, the example that I'm gonna show you generated me 22 new leads in about five minutes of actual effort. This is a powerful strategy that you can deploy a few times per month as you're creating content and growing your Facebook audience. So if you wanna know how to generate free leads on Facebook, tune into this video. This is going to be all about Facebook training. I did a survey. I posted out to my email list and my Facebook audience and the feedback that came back is, hey, we want to learn more about Facebook. Facebook marketing, not only for free, but paid ads. So I've been digging deep into paid advertising over the past week or two, uh, more seriously than I have in the past, and really getting prolific with how to run ads and analyze my ads ad interest. So we're going to kick it off here in just a minute. I just want to give some time for people to roll in. Let me know that you guys can hear me. I actually don't even know where the comments are. Like I said, this is the first time I'm running OBS to stream on YouTube live. So it's kind of a learning experience for me. And we got two watchers. We got two people in here right now. I think one of those people might be me. So um, you know, one thing is don't get hung up on the technical stuff. The technical stuff can stop a lot of people. I've spoken to so many people, my audience, buyers, leads, and just paying attention to the conversations that happen inside of Facebook groups and online. One of the biggest sticking points people have when it comes to marketing on the internet is the tech stuff. They get, they see that, you know, they don't know how to set up a website. They don't, they're not really good with computers. A lot of my audience is older. And so that, that's, a, that's a hang up and it's a little scary. So I just want to vaccinate you right now and just tell you that you know, that's just stuff that's going to happen. But the more you get comfortable using technology and, and getting your hands dirty, for example, me right now is a little nervous doing a webinar with YouTube Live because I've never done it before. Uh, but here I am and you just kind of you face that fear and you jump right into it and that's how you overcome it. So we'll get started here in about 30 seconds, guys. Here's what we're going to be covering. We're going to be covering some uh, Facebook marketing training. So I'm going to walk you through some actionable strategies that you can actually walk away after this training. It's going to be about a 20, 25 minute training. Uh, and you're going to have actionable advice on how you can go to Facebook right after this is done and start implementing the strategies to generate more leads into your business immediately. So I'm excited to hear some of the stories from you guys coming back. Uh, if you guys go out and implement some of the stuff, I'd love to hear some of your success stories. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it. So here's what we're going to be covering today. Number one, find out the one unique mindset shift that you need to activate before you can convert your Facebook into money. Most people are treating their Facebook and their social media that's just a social platform to them. There's a little critical shift that you need to make if you really want to start monetizing your social media, not just Facebook, but all social media. And we'll kind of dive into that in here in just a second. Number two, you're going to discover the only winsome and attractive non- pay-per-click Facebook list building method. Okay, so that was a little bit of a mouthful, but this is the best list building method on Facebook that I've seen, and it's so easy and obvious that it's actually kind of funny. I think once you see some of the examples that I give you, you're just gonna be, you're gonna laugh and think to yourself, wow, that's so simple. Why haven't I been doing that already? Hint, I'll be showcasing some real examples. I have three or four examples that I'm gonna be showing you and dissecting, uh, and one of those examples generated me 22 new leads for my business in about five minutes of actual effort. If you'd like to know that strategy, if you'd like to generate 20 leads in about five minutes of actual human effort, just go ahead and, and type yes into the comments and I hope you get excited for it because it's coming. And lastly, step number three, how you can amplify your Facebook list building efforts with pay-per-click ads for just five bucks per day. I'm going to walk you through my exact story ad copy that I've been running for the last about seven to eight days and it's generated an extra 31 leads for my business. Now, my leads right now are anywhere between about 3 to $5 leads, um, which is a good range. I'm going to try and bring that down just a little bit now that I'm actually diving into the analytics. But we're going to talk about how to actually write a Facebook ad that brings your business new buyers. Now, I forgot to put my face up here. So if you guys are tuning in for the first time, you've never met me before, um, my name's Tim Alwell, and I've been marketing online for the last like three and a half years, mostly doing affiliate marketing. So Let's just go ahead and dive in. I'm not going to go into my story that's not about what this training is. Let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so number one is the unique mindset shift that you need to activate before you can convert your Facebook into money. Okay, so I want you to think about this. You have to intend 
to unapologetically, you have to be unapologetic about this, monetize and integrate an hour of great time, and we're going to talk about what great time is, at least two to four days per week. And this is actual productive work. This isn't, I'm going to sit on social media and look at other people's posts. I'm not going to stalk my ex-boyfriend, my ex-girlfriend. I'm not going to watch weird cat videos. It's productive work. And I want you to intend, I want you to have the intention to move from a purely social platform to a monetizing decision and be cool with it. So you really have to accept that, hey, you know what? I'm going to take myself a little bit more serious about business and I'm not going to be afraid to start promoting and marketing what I'm doing on social media. I don't care what Aunt Susie has to say. I don't care what my mom or dad have to say. If my brother or sister starts giving me weird messages, ask me what I'm doing, that's okay. I don't have to explain myself to anybody. I know my, pa my passion, my purpose, and this is what I'm doing, and I'm totally cool with it. Um, so, because I know a lot of people, that's what keeps them from getting out there on social media is they're afraid of the criticism, they're afraid of the, the feedback, or the, the reactions and the eye rolls that they're gonna get from their friends, from their family, from their high school and college friends, so they shy away from it. So you just have to be okay with, I'm gonna start making money with Facebook. This is a business, I'm gonna take it seriously, and this is what any serious business owner would do. If you're in the affiliate marketing niche, you may, might have heard of guys named like Mark Hoverson, um, Matt Lloyd. You might know Shakir Hussein. If you're in network marketing, you might know Ray Higdon, Eric Worre. What are they doing on their Facebook right now? They're marketing, and they're totally okay with it. They're unapologetic. So just give yourself permission, and I give you permission, to step into that and really lean into that and be okay with it. And I think once you get through the momentum of the first few days, maybe it's being a little bit weird for you, then I think you'll hit that, like, you'll hit that streak where eventually you're just cruising. Okay, so it may, it may be a little sticky at first, but at the end of the day, you'll be laughing once you start getting used to this. So that's tip number one. I didn't want to spend too much time on it there, but that's just a mindset thing. I think the mindset is what holds people back. So just be unapologetic about being out there on social media, you know, doing some Facebook Lives, doing some posts, showing yourself, showing what you're learning, just share. I think when you come from a place of sharing, this is one of the big uh, shifts that helped me get over this fear is that you can live in two different frames, all right? There's two different frames that you can live in. Um, there is the competitive frame, right? So competitive frame, and I know I'm not really writing this clearly. Excuse me, guys. I'm writing this with a mouse. So the competitive frame is you're comparing yourself to everybody else. You're wondering if you're good enough. You're wondering, well, people accept this. Will people get value from this? Do I know enough to really share? Do I know what I'm talking about? And that's going to keep you stuck inside of your head. Now, that's where a lot of people get stuck. So if you shift from a competitive frame, and here's the key. So really pay attention, and I hope you guys have a notebook out write this stuff down. If you switch from a competitive frame to a collaborative frame, this is where the magic really happens. This is where you make that internal shift where you really don't care anymore and you become all unapologetic because now you come from the place of, guess what? I'm just sharing what I know. I'm just giving value, giving value back and sharing my experiences and hopefully there are people out there that I will impact and who will benefit from the knowledge, from the life experience, from the wisdom, from the mentorship that I've been getting, from the, the books, the audio trainings, the video series that I've been watching, there's people out there who would love to know what you know. And you're actually holding them back by not sharing what you know. So become comfortable giving value and always come from a collaborative space. You guys, a collaborative is, hey, we're in this together me and my social media audience, we're in this together. We're all trying to improve. We're striving to be better. So there's nothing wrong with me sharing information that can potentially help people. Instead of thinking, hey, is this good enough? Am I good enough? Do I know enough? Will people value this? It's just a little mindset shift that can just launch you in the right direction, okay? So that is tip number one. If you got some value, go ahead and let me know. Leave a comment and just say, yeah, that was great. Thanks, Tim. Okay, cool. So now we're going to move on to tip number two. All right, this is where it gets fun. <laughs> I'm excited for this. So number two is discover the only winsome and attractive non-pay-per-click Facebook list building method that I've seen. And it's so easiest and obvious that it's actually funny. And let's go ahead and just dive right into some of the bullet points here. So this is called the honeypot strategy. Okay. Now I want you to imagine this. There's a pot of honey. I'm going to make this a little bit thicker here. Give me a second, guys. If you're wondering what tool this is, it's called Desk Scribble. And the reason why I use it is because 
it's visually appealing and it engages the eyes and it keeps people's attention. So this is a little subtle marketing hack that you can use inside your own business. So this is a pot right here. This is a pot and what it is, it's a pot of honey. So it's fill, filled with honey. This yellow color right here, this is all the honey that's filling this cauldron and it is just oozing. It's pouring out. It's overflowing. Okay. Now this honey is a metaphor. It represents value. Okay. So on social media, like on Facebook, you have an audience, right? Maybe you have a few thousand friends, or maybe you have a Facebook fan page with a, a few thousand people on your audience. Maybe it's just a few hundred, maybe it's just a handful, who cares? If you're just getting started, it might be smaller. It doesn't matter, the strategy works no matter what size your audience is. So you have onlookers who are kind of looking at what you're doing, right? So we just I just gave you permission to go out there and start sharing what you know, sharing your value with the world. That's how you start building credibility with, yourself, with your audience, it's how you, you position yourself as an expert, because experts, publish. So you're out there on Facebook and you're publishing content and you know some of it's lifestyle, some of it's you and your family. You don't want to be too businessy because all all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, but when you sprinkle in these these little honey pots, okay? Now a honey pot is just a post that's sharing value. Okay? So what you're doing here is there is there's spheres, okay? There's actually levels to what your audience is doing on Facebook. Okay? Now a lot of people on Facebook, they're out here, okay? They're just onlookers and they're on the very outer rung of this circle and they're just kind of paying attention to what you're doing. This, your free value, all your free value is out on this outer rung. This could be Facebook posts, this could be a free YouTube video, this could be a Facebook Live, this could be a blog post. Basically, it's all free information on this very outer rung. It still gives value, but if you want to move your onlookers closer to the red hot center, right? The red hot center, this is where your information becomes more refined. It, be, it becomes more, there's more human touch. Maybe there's some coaching where actually personal coaching happens. This is where your paid products and services are. This is where the how-to information, the really detailed, good, juicy stuff that people are willing to buy and pay for. This is the red hot center. So you want to move your onlookers, the people for, who are just consuming a free content, you want to move them, right? And you want to give them the opportunity to actually step closer to that red hot center where they can actually lock arms and join you, whether it's in an affiliate, whether it's buying an affiliate product, whether it's joining you in a network marketing business, whether it is hiring you as their coach or their mentor, joining, joining your membership site, whatever your product or service is, it could be a fitness program or a shake. You're trying to get people into that red hot center. And the way you do this is you put out these value honeypot posts. Okay. This is direct response marketing. So here's an example. Let me just flip over, okay? Here's an example. Oh, I just closed the tab. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. Let's see. Reopen, close tab here. Hopefully, I don't have to scroll. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to scroll down here. All right. Give me one second. I'm going to find the post. I promise it'll be worth it. This post generated me 22 leads. Uh, it took me about five minutes to write this post. Okay, let me just scroll back just for a second. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. You'll see that I'm pretty active on Facebook, guys, and this all comes into the strategy is, it isn't all business. I'm showing just pictures of my lifestyle, what I'm doing, what I'm up to, I'm being tagged in different videos, so it's active. You know, this isn't a dry Facebook wall. I'm not telling you guys strategies to just, uh, you know, come out with a bare dry Facebook and start promoting your affiliate links. That's not what this training is about. This is getting yourself out there and branding yourself as, you're creating your own brand. This is the Tim Alwa brand. Okay, so here's the post right here, okay, say. So I'm just gonna read this out loud real quick and break it down. So, wow, I just spent two days in Vegas swimming in value with 70-ish other entrepreneurs at an elite marketing conference. Now I jotted down several pages of value bombs and I can't wait to share them with you. Okay, use a very power word in copy. So I try and use you when I'm writing my copy. I'm going to release a refined page of notes tomorrow sharing my top to my top takeaways from this two-day mastermind. Just comment, send me the notes below, and I promise I will email them you tomorrow by 7 p.m. after I finish editing them. Okay, and then I give a little photo cred to my homie Ryan Fisico for capturing this really candid action shot of me talking with my buddy Jaden at the event in Vegas. So there it is. Okay, now if you're <laughs> do you guys see how easy this post is? It took me a few minutes to write. There's nothing very special going on here. Okay, now I combine it with an image, okay? So you gotta have the image as well. Social media, Facebook, 
it's a visual platform. People want to see videos, they want to see images. So you got to pair the copy, the text, with the image to really get the best bang for your efforts. Okay, so without the image, it just loses a little bit of uh. So now let's go down to the comments here. So you see it's got pretty good engagement, right? 51 likes. If I open up the comments, this is where the actual power is, guys. So look at this. So we have Grant right here, send me the notes, okay? We have Ryan Fisgo, send me the notes. We have Ansira, send me the notes. Me, 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 he says. Tom Murky, send me the notes. Kylie, send me the notes. Wendy, send me the notes. Chris, send them. Ryan, send them. Jake, send them. Gene, he says me, okay? So I can, I can go, I can scroll down here a little bit more, okay? Size some more. So you see, it just keeps going on and on and on. This is called direct response marketing. Patrick, send me the notes. Dan, send me the notes. Christy, Kristen, Derek, Ryan, Jake, Richard, Kathleen. Do you see how powerful this is, guys? Do you see how powerful this is? If you're building an audience right now on Facebook, which if you're on this training, I assume that you're active on Facebook and you want to know how to start generating some lead flow. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. So do you see how a simple honeypot post, the, the value here is the honeypot is my notes. Okay, People want to know what I learned in Vegas hanging out with 70 other entrepreneurs, online marketers, at a conference, they want those notes. So what you can be doing is repurposing all the content that you're going through, okay? You don't have to be inventor of something new, you don't have to be an expert in the space. If you're learning something, you have value to other people that other people would wanna know. So let's go ahead and flip back here. So that's the honeypot, it is just a value, something free, you know, you're giving away something for free of value that your audience would like. And it depends on whatever niche you're in. If you're in fitness, you're probably, you know, it could be a conference as well. It could be notes from a conference. It could be, hey, I just dropped a few pounds. Here's the two things that I changed about my diet that helped me achieve this goal. Comment below, diet, and I'll send you my two tips. You can literally apply this to any any niche, any industry. So what I want, what I really want, really want you to realize, guys, is this is a yes ladder. This is investment, okay? So here is a drawing that hit home a couple years ago. So this is a ladder, right? Now, most people on Facebook who are in affiliate marketing, network marketing, this is what they're doing. They're private messaging people, sending them messages saying, hey, you know, I got this new business opportunity, here's my link, I would love for you to join. Or I'm recruiting top people, top leaders in my business, join my business, join my link. They're really going, they're going straight for the juggler, they're going straight for the kill. And people are just, they're not ready to make that kind of decision right off the bat. So, you know, you're here right now, you're here, and you don't want to buy right away. That's not what people do. You don't just go buy something right away. The money's way up here. You want to make it easy for someone to actually step into your world and experience what you have to offer. And a honeypot does this. So all I did was I asked for comment. Hey, just comment. Send me the notes below. I made it so easy for someone to just step on that first rung of the ladder. That's investment, okay? So when a transaction happens, most people don't realize this. They don't think about this. But the transaction, it isn't just about the money. There's actually a series of transactions that leads up to the sale. And here's and this is exactly how it happens. So they pay. They're actually paying with a comment. Right? That's their first transaction. Okay? Then what I do is I send them a message and I say, hey, thanks for commenting. Um, what's your best email so that I can send you my notes tomorrow at 7 p.m. or whatever the time you promise. Okay? Then they reply back with their email. Okay, that's another transaction. They're investing. Then what I do is I take that email and I load it into my Aweber autoresponder. So if I flip over to my Aweber account, this is what this is what captures all. My, this is how I capture and store all my leads and email everybody. So right now you'll see I have 489 leads. I generated 12 yesterday, seven today. So I take their emails and I put them in my email Aweber so that I can start following up via email. Okay. So then what happens is they actually open up that email when I send it, right? That's the next transaction, all right? Then they actually click on to download the notes or it, usually I have a video attached. If it's notes, I usually have another a video that actually ad libs on top of my notes because I, I like video. People can hear your voice. They can hear your cadence, your tonality. Um, in some cases like this, they can see your face on camera. So then they consume the content. That's another transaction. Then they start opening up your future emails. You start building the relationship with that person. And now they start opening up all your emails or every other, you know, a few. Then they start attending your webinars. And then all of a sudden they're like, you know what? I've received enough information and enough value. When you finally throw in that pitch to your product and you stack on some bonuses and you say, hey, the cart closes tonight or in three days or the first five people to join me get these bonuses. 
go watch this training and, and join or hit, click on this link. It'll take you to the order page to buy. They're ready. They've gone up this yes ladder. They've gotten into yes momentum and now they're ready to purchase. Does that make sense, guys? I don't know where the comments are, but if you got value from that, go ahead and leave me a comment just saying, I understand honeypots, the yes ladder. I understand the transaction ladder of moving people. Not The money isn't the only transaction. It's people invest their time, they invest their effort, and then they invest their money, okay? So threading, let's quickly dive, dive back into this. What is threading? So you want to be shaking hands. You want to be shaking hands with your with your social media followers. You're like the mayor of the small town. You're shaking hands. You're kissing babies. So you go back over here into this post. And what I did is I just liked all these. Okay, I just made sure I replied to a few of them, but I made sure to like them all just to show that hey, I'm I'm, I'm engaging with you. Now, in some of my other ones, here's uh, let me get another example. Um, Here's another example. You can do these with Facebook Lives. You know, I've done them with Facebook Lives, guys, where I'm giving takeaways from a, another Vegas event. And threading is just replying back to people who've who've raised their hands, like Moses here. You know, he stuck up his hand and he said, "Hey, Tim, that's a horrible hand, but that's a hand." He said, "Hey, Tim, you know, I want the notes." And I just said, "Hey, Moses, I just forwarded you the email with the first part of the notes." Or, "Hey, um, you know, Chris, Chris said something. I, I replied back. Ryan said something. I replied back." Um, my brother said something, I replied back. Joey said something, I replied back down here. So threading is just getting in there and engaging, shaking hands with your audience, okay? And then adding to your email list. I showed that, right? So this is a, a really great way to start adding people to your email list. Now here's just a little side note. What I used to do is I actually used to take them, I used to send them a message and I said, hey, go click this link, it'll take you to a capture page and just enter in your email, you get the notes. But guess what? One thing that I've learned from my mentor is to remove all creative burden from your, from your leads, from your buyers. So if I can take out an extra step that they don't really need just to make their life easier, I did that. So I actually, instead of sending them a Facebook message and replying back and saying, hey, you know, thanks for requesting my notes, Ryan. Um, here, go ahead and click this link. It'll take you to a capture page. Just enter in your email and you'll get the notes tomorrow when I send out that email. Well, you know, you're, you're risking not people not wanting to do that. They're like, oh, okay, you know, I don't want to put in my email in this capture page. And you risk you know, losing out on some of those leads. So I just take all the creative burden out of that. I actually get their email address, go into my AWeber account, and then you know I go into subscribers and I manage my subscribers and I, ma or I add the subscriber myself. That way they don't have to think about it. There's no burden, there's no additional effort on their part. I make it as easy as possible. So that's a big lesson I've learned in marketing is removing all the creative burdens from your buyers and making it so easy and so seamless and not confusing so that it's just they get to the end goal where they want to be without getting lost. You're not trying to make them navigate through a treasure hunt and a map and go through all these windy roads and random clicks to try and find out where your notes are. You just want to give them like a nice straight line A to B and cut out all the crap. Does that make sense? All right, I hope you got a lot of value from that video. If you did, let me know by leaving a like or a comment and don't forget to subscribe because I'm publishing another video that's going to cover my story ad framework for pay-per-click marketing in just a few days. So if you want to be notified when that video goes live, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.